Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Ray Connor with another Girls X Battle 2 account overlook for you, for you guys. Hopefully, the audio is good. I'm having some problems recently, so if it sounds bad, leave a comment down below. Let me know, and I'll try and fix it. If it sounds fine, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. But hey, we're going to be going over Sal's account, not the Sal that you may not know that does this. This is not the Sal that does the spreadsheets, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the same person. This is a totally different person. So give Sal some love in the comments and in the. Uh, comment section of the video they're saying thank you for sharing your account and if you're new to the channel please subscribe your support's really appreciated because we're trying to get to 2.3k subscribers here so i can give away a vip9 account and don't forget to smash that like button ladies and gentlemen with that being said let's get into the account overlook video for today okay so uh, sal we got to pull up the questions real quick this is on server 405 i believe ladies and gentlemen but um they recently decided to take the game more seriously uh they're free to play account they're more focused on pve content that's great i like it uh, and they especially tests and house exams. It's great. I've recently started saving resources more seriously, such as capsules and enrolls and slot tickets. I feel like progression has slowed down lately. Well, that kind of happens on free to play. I'm sorry. It's just, you know. I'm planning on LB5 and Rogue and building it both on my Mika and Linky to 10 star afterwards. You already have your Mika to 10 star. You have your Rogue at LB5, which can help finish patrol. Mika can too. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, also, just so you know, Angelica can beat Patrol, and we're pretty sure that Robbie can do it too, even though you probably shouldn't pull. Let me say this in this video do not pull capsules for Robbie. If six months from now, when Robbie's easier to obtain in the game, and she's more easily attainable, like other girls like Rogue and, other, and Mika and stuff like that, she would be a good candidate to help out with certain stuff. Yes. But as of right now, no, because she's just new to the game and it's hard to get her. Once she's easier to get, we can she'll, she'll be helpful. But let's look at the girls on this account. They get 10 star. Mio can be used as food. Uh, Medusa can be used as food. Uh, Toyo, all you got some food girls going on right there. That's that's awesome. Uh, your Mika is great for uh, 10 star. You can, after, uh, well, actually, your Rogue LB4, my bad, but you're working on that. Um, a big thing with Rogue staying alive is those shields, LB5 shields. Once she has the shields, she can stay alive. Oh, big yawn today. Sorry, guys. Um, Psychic, you could have left it 10 star. Um, maybe you just weren't notified on that. I would not reverse or anything. Just leave her at LB2. It's, you don't need to go any further. Uh, Fenrir is not that much help anymore. She does help in OCE mode, so you can use her in there. Uh, I would. You could probably leave her there for now, and maybe in the future when you get like another good like Diana, which really helps you out in tests, you can switch the Fenrir to a Diana. That will help you drastically in tests. You have two nefs for tests, so that's great. Um, Apote can also help you with like the crystal waves, uh, and Izanami is also really helpful in the later stages. So like big, big, big helpful girls in test stages later on, which we're we're doing in the road road to one thousand, the other video series. Um, Izanami and Monica and Diana and Neff, probably the three most important ones. The only other one that's also important after that is Apate when you have like. The crystal waves where they give they have all have energy or any mode where they start off with energy a pate can will help with that so having a pate for that and switching out one of the girls like let's say you're running four nefs a monica and an izanami you could just swip out watch swip oh, excuse me switch out one of the nefs oh. yawns today just crazy um Switch out one of the nefs for the Apate or like the Zanami or Monica. Just trying to, you're just going to have to be, you know, it's testing. So you're going to have to test, right? So you can do that. Uh, let's see what else your questions are. Da -da -da -da. Might need to use the two of five star boxes, but before I do, I wanted to ask which I'd be working on towards now if I wanted to get this good idea. Okay, so I know I didn't make any sense reading that, but oh, you have five boxes now. So, um, some people here might say this. They might tell you at this point if... Hold on. Let's see what's in these boxes real quick. Has Mika. Okay, so your latest box has... This, that one does too. What else is in this box? Okay, so here's the thing. Some people might say, finish Mika at LB5. Yes, that'd be a great idea. And then you could switch her off in the future. Do you have an LB4 Rogue? You could switch that for something in the future as well. Um, uh, 
There's no Dianas in the boxes, I don't think. So, wait, wait, maybe this one does? Hold on, this new one might have it. Da, da, da. No, just Blair. Okay, so, you could theoretically LB5 your Mika, which can also be patrol. So you can have LB5 Mika, your LB4 Rogue for now, uh, and then uh, have your Nefs. So you, you're gonna get to, you can already get to 80 with Mika 10 star in certain certain seasons. So having the LB5 Rogue, you can get a lot of your resources that way from humans. I don't know why I keep yawning here today. I've been yawning all day, and the moment I start talking to you guys, I start yawning. I hate it. it makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, I think the smart player here must be Wine Agree. LB5, make a Mika LB5. Be patrol, use it, use it in tandem with your rogue to be patrol with your nest. There you go. Then you have a great line for your house exams to build up your resources. And then you can use, uh, I don't know how good Mika is in test. I never used her in test. I always just use my six nefts. I'm not going to lie. Um, but you can try that in your tests. But Neff and Diana are going to be the big two major factors in dealing damage in test. And then a potty to help as a support girl, believe it or not, in tests and Zanami and Monica, right? So, and then at some point later on, because you care so much about tests, once Diana comes out in the boxes for of Lovely's Journey or any box that we have, start grabbing your Diana copies out of there and turn your Fenrir into a Diana. And there you go for Tess to have another damage dealer in Tess because she's amazing in Tess. She does wonders, which we've had some videos around here showing that she does amazingly in that mode, um, which you can also use her in First Sanctuary, but that's a different ball of wax and how you use her on that one. You got some nice resources saved up. It looks good to me. Let's get further. You've, oh, you asked what to use for Fenris. We kind of covered that. Use your Fenrir for OC. Um, Guild Boss. I think you're probably already in Guild Boss 61, aren't you guys? Where's your gym? You're already on Guild Boss 61, so that doesn't really help out that much there. Um, Fenrir kind of just drops off. She's really just only useful in OCE for you. So you're better off just switching her to Diana when you get the copies for her. And then... Um, if you're For your PvE stuff... Uh, Fenrir should be in your F1 slot, not Apate. Apate was like only an F1 to try and like dodge stuff so your girls didn't die because you were using other different girls. But for your team, just put Fenrir in F1. Apate can be in the back row for you. Um, we already talked about patrol, gave you advice on that. Yeah, you're, I saw you're a little like 70s. You're kind of a little lucky, but just build that LB5 Mika. Use it in tandem with the other four. You should be, other three, you should be good. Um, I don't really see any other questions. Your account's not bad. It's pretty good. It is a fairly new server, so you're doing very well for a new server. Very well managed. Um, just keep playing. Keep logging in. Uh, I'm also glad that you you did Deer. I saw that already. That is great. I still need to make a video on that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do it at some point. Um, but, hey, kudos to you on doing this. I don't know why, but I just did that. But I'm not going to. So you're trying to get to the next level? It looks good to me. Like you seem like you know what you're doing and you're you're doing well, well really well progressing on this. So um yeah, Sal, kudos to you. Good job. Um the only good advice I could give you is change that Fenrir to Diana when you can and uh build a LB5 Mika to help you out. You got plenty of food, you, you'll get it eventually. You have the copies for it, you just need the food essentially. And uh the gold and the juice. But uh looks good to me. What do you guys think? Uh, everybody on YouTube, tell us how what you think about this account going on. I think it's great. Doing good so far. I can't wait to see uh, maybe how this does in the future. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. So stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.